So here I am in the midst of an audio cast talking about things that we need and a uh, rather large heavy set woman comes up to me and tries to leave me with a duffel bag full of things. And so I decide to stop my audio cast and I literally have to qualify what is it she's trying to leave, leave for me because I am not a courier of paraphernalia and I am not someone who's going to slap things back and forth. Now she has left miffed, but this is the disappointment I have as a priest and someone who is a person of faith. Her intent was kindness, but at no time did she ask me what I needed. So she's got an investment of probably a 20 or $30 duffel bag that's filled with things that I can barely see that's in there because that's not my practice. And the Lord said, please decline. And when God says decline, it means decline. And I gave her the education about how her investment could have gone into something else that I needed for the day, as opposed to something that she wanted to give me as a play. And the truth is it's hard to do that because people react so offended, and then you realize they're trying to give out of a need to give to fill their soul, but they're not giving in a way that makes sense to the person who's receiving. There's plenty of people, she, her response was the takeaway. Well, I'll just give it to someone else. My encouragement is please do that because other people are willing to have you choose for them what they need at that moment of time then congratulations you've got more power than a lot of people but most people are trying to have power over their own lives most people are trying to move forward with the things that they need for that day or that week or that month a person like me and other people like me who've been victims of cybercrime, identity theft, fraud are quite accustomed to people trying to take power over me or power over you. And that's just not okay in today's world.